All right, so I think I'm gonna mix up a little bit of uh, hydroponic nutrients for my tomato plant. It's drank almost the whole reservoir. I wanna just give it uh, a gallon. So I'm gonna use this General Hydroponics Maxi Grow. I can do this with one hand. So it's, it's one to two scoops per gallon. And, For a tomato, we'll do the two scoops. I just use this uh, old tea bottle. Hold the gallon. It's uh, not very scientific here. Pop it off a little bit more. Okay. Um. Forgot to grab my pH meter. So we'll test the pH. Here, <laughs> so right around six. 6.3, let, uh, let me put the lid on this and shake it up a little bit more. It's not gonna be completely dissolved. That. That's actually perfect for what I need. This, uh, from what I understand, this General Hydroponics has a pH buffer in it. My tap water is usually about seven and a half, um, and we're sitting right close to six point zero. So that's not that's not bad at all. So this is the tomato that I'm gonna put it in. It's a uh, cherry tomato in a uh, non-circulating system it's a just like a crack key style of hydroponics where um, you just put it put, put the plant in a reservoir and look at that it's, it's got fantastic roots that bucket was completely full of water when I first put this in here it was up to the bottom of that net pot right there and it's obviously drink all of it. So I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna put a gallon in because I don't wanna smother the roots, but I'm gonna just pour it in through the, through the uh, top here. And it'll all go filter down through all the roots and settle down in there, but. That'll give it uh, some fresh newts to drink. And that, uh, yeah, that's good. See the, it's hard to see, but you can see that the roots are still half out of the water, which is what you want with a non-circulating system. You have a, if you want to fill it up more, you got to go with the air stone like these. But uh, this thing hasn't had an air stone. And then here's another little tomato I just did. Uh, it's probably been a little over a week. 
and look at the roots there that's just from the last maybe two three days a couple days ago those were barely even popped out of the bottom of that net pot so anyway that's how I mix nutrients and uh, hopefully I'll get some tomatoes here pretty soon uh, if you liked the video hit the like button and subscribe to my channel and I'll be putting some more stuff up here gardening bees all kinds of good stuff so uh, I'll see you on the next one